and we actually had to like go through the back of the orbit like open up the skull and like dissect the eyeballs what's up you guys it's adonna i am back i just finished my third week of school you guys i am so excited it was amazing a whirlwind but amazing um so of course i'm gonna be talking about what to expect in your third week of school besides studying that is because that is what i've been doing a lot of i have my first test tomorrow it's with my five credit class which is medical practice and in that class i'm being tested over 50 different um, infectious diseases and how they present, what to treat them with. Uh, so I'm really, really like kind of a little sort of, sort of stressed, but um, very motivated. So after I finish this, I'm going to go back and hit the books. That's not what we're talking about today. We are talking about what I did in this last week. So guys, I just came back from the free clinic last week. It was so amazing. This is something that really drew me to the school because not many schools allow you to actually go in and see patients in your, what, second week, third week of PA school. You don't usually get to do that until like your second year of PA school, okay? Like when you already have your white coat and you're going through your clinical rotations, that's when you get to actually see patients. But my program allows us to actually go in and shadow the physicians. You can't touch the patients or anything like that because we don't have our short white coat yet, but that is something that they progress us towards during the first uh, year of our teaching, which is really really cool because not many schools do that you really have to wait until your second year before you can actually go in and see patients so it was really really a great experience I had a wonderful time we saw three patients which was so cool because we we're in there listening to you know their complaints and uh, you know seeing what we could do for them today and it just made you even more motivated and excited to continue on and keep pushing through which is something that I really really like about my program also we we dissected the eyeball oh my goodness so we're in the face with our cadavers right now and we actually had to like go through the back of the orbit like open up the skull and like dissect the eyeball so that we can see the cornea and lens and all of those different structures of the eye because of course we're gonna be tested on it we need to know what we're looking at like when we're doing our eye exams for patients like what would we see in there like what exactly is the structure that we're trying to look at so it was really really interesting my group has a salt cured cadaver so it's really really lifelike uh, it doesn't feel like the formaldehyde cadavers at all we, it's like the skin is like soft like my skin so it's kind of odd it's really amazing honestly what uh, technology has been able to do but it really allows us to just kind of like get a better idea of what like the muscles would look like when we're actually you know doing sutures and surgery for real patients so that is something that I'm really excited about as well I can't wait to get to the muscles part of like you know like the arm or the leg where we can really see defined muscles because the face right now for salt care is not really good for the face but for the other like extremities, I think it's gonna be really great. So guys, I'm super excited. As you can see, I'm very motivated. I have to go study, but that is what you can expect in your third week of PA school if you attend the school that I'm attending. Um, I'm not really sure about other schools. I'm sure there'll be something along the same lines because you have to pretty much pack two years of med school into one year. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot. A lot of studying, a lot of hard work, but it is well worth it. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching um, this episode of What to Expect in PA School. I really, really appreciate it. I am still funding for my PA school to stay into PA school, like, you know, this semester, next semester. So go ahead and hit up my GoFundMe page. The link will be listed here, maybe in the description box somewhere for you guys to go ahead and click on that. And any donation, any amount is well appreciated. If you liked what you see, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to share this video with your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye!